Today I'm going to show you how to remove paint from a work surface. This is an old piece of kitchen countertop which I use for painting on quite a lot. Uh, I've done some spray painting on there and obviously it's getting quite messed up. Now uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily remove this. White spirits doesn't actually work, I'll show you. So we've got a little cloth here, put a bit on there. Not too much because I don't want to waste it. And then we'll start wiping it down. And although it does get some off with quite a bit of scrubbing, it doesn't come off quite easily. So we'll flip this cloth over and I'm going to use this stuff. This is some universal lacquer thinner and it's got very high dissolving powers. Uh, I don't know what the actual properties of this are. It is a lacquer thinner and it does work really, really well. If you don't have any lacquer thinner, then you've probably got some of this stuff. Uh, gel polish remover. You can find these in most supermarkets. Uh, I got this one from Poundland. So I'm gonna show you how the gel polish remover works. This is acetone based, which is why this works so well. But the lacquer thinner, you do get more for your money. This one liter container was $2.99 and this 150ml was a pound so both are fairly cheap options but I'm going to show you the acetone based thinner the problem with the acetone based nail polish remover is it dries really really quickly so when you put it on your cloth it dries up quickly and the stuff that you're trying to clean kind of goes a bit gooey and then still stays sticky so it, it can be a bit of an issue but if you've only got a small patch to do then it works really well as you can see, no scrubbing needed, just a light rub, and it comes off pretty well. It's not getting that green stuff underneath, because, yep, there we go, got that. But like I say, it turns it gooey and it dries really quickly, so it's not the best solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this all the way around and we'll get a clean patch and I'm going to put some of this universal thinner on there and we're going to clean up the whole lot. So I've only got a tiny blob on there really, just this little area. As you can see, it gets that grey much, much easier than the acetone, cleans up a little bit better as well, and it doesn't dry as quick. Do need a little bit more on there. So that's that grey stuff gone now, that was all spray paint that I used and the rest of this stuff, this has been building up over years and years anyway. So I'm going to get a new clean cloth and I'm going to start again and clean the rest of this up. The other way you can do this is you can pour it straight onto this surface. So just stuff a bit on there, gently just roll it around. these stubborn bits that are left now these are really thick blobs and the best way to get them off is to use a scraper and just gently go over the top and just get a clean damp cloth I'm just using some wet wipes here and then just go over the top again And there we go, almost like new. There is still some little bits and pieces on there. But for my purposes, I'm going to get this filled with paint again anyway. 
this stuff has been on there for maybe two years and it's just been building up and building up and now it's starting to kind of annoy me but if you've just built something on there like a, a gloss uh, emulsion this did have a mix of gloss emulsion varnish all different types of paints were on here over the years so that's removed pretty much all of them in multiple layers so hopefully this has helped somebody as I say it's universal thinner this stuff is currently available in Lidl at £2.99 a jar and it does go a long long way I only opened this the other day besides you doing it for this uh, it's probably about that full it's brilliant brilliant for cleaning paint brushes and things like that as well and restoring those so get yourself some if you can just pop the cap back on there because this stuff does evaporate so try and keep the cap on there uh, I get a couple of these at a time I do have another brand new one there so I buy two of these at a time and it lasts me about six months and then they'll be back in stock again so thanks for watching guys hopefully you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one